All right, guys, here we have a video to show you how to clean the print heads um, on an Epsom Eco Tank printer. This printer is an Epsom ET2600 where we're having problems with it, just basically the printing is just a bit smudged. It's not actually missing lines, it's just a bit hazy. Um, we've tried print heads, cleans, just that come in normal maintenance and they were working and now we're, we've noticed we're getting to a stage where we have to do something about it. Um, so as you can see it's got all your usual ink tanks etc. I have seen people suck out the ink and then put cleaning fluid in there but you don't need to do that. So I'm going to show you the easiest possible way to do it. Our problem is with the black. So I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, so... So this is basically an eco tank. It just feeds ink through these ink lines into these little tanks. So this one on the left is the black. Now, to be doubly sure about where every ink position is, I would just say it's as simple as taking off the ink line and you'll see the color. But I, the black is the one we're gonna do and that's on the left. Like, it is quite easy to do, but Obviously, you, it's easy when you know how. So I'm gonna just show you quickly what to do. So the first thing is change down the lid. I, I actually need to tell you something. So what we need to do is we need to get that over to this position. So you can't force it or you'll damage it. So there is an easy way of doing it, which I'm about to show you. So what we're gonna do is I close down the lid and it moves best if when it's actually printing and what we do is we're going to remove the ink we're going to remove the um no, sorry not the ink we're going to remove the power cable as it's printing so as it's printing then that will free it up so i'll show you now exactly what i mean so what we're going to do is we're going to print off something so that'll start printing in a second if you just have a look here so we're just waiting for it to start printing. And what I'm gonna do as this is printing, I will pull out the ink line, or the, sorry, it's the ink line again, we're gonna pull out the power cable. So, right, so I've pulled that out. So that should be loose now. You can see roughly how that printer is printing. But it's not great at all. So, if we just I will pull that out so you can see now that's moving nice and easy now if that wouldn't do that before so what we do um another thing as well is that we've had our cleaning fluid in warm water for around about i don't know about 10 minutes so we don't want to use cold fluid but we don't want to use hot fluid either it'll bake so what we've done is we've put the cleaning fluid in here and we've just left it for like 20 minutes that 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 water was like you know we'll say you could put your hand into it and that's how warm it was you don't want boiling water definitely not boiling water it just needs to be warm water and this fluid then is warm in here yeah i can feel it it's just like lukewarm it's good enough so what we do is we've got two little pieces of two little strips of paper now these will come sometimes every printer is a little bit different so we just cut these to fit underneath here i've already done that when you when you get your paper you can put it underneath and you'll it'll underneath here it goes right in under here so i'll just show you where they're going to go so it's a bit fiddly sometimes you gotta push it in and once it's through the other side look at that you see now it's both sides you can like pull it into place so you want it like about 50 50 so the ink when it comes down it'll go on to that now that did fit under really easily now i would advise even just for the purpose of the video i'll use this but you would be better off using something like a kitchen roll or something like that and it'll work it's very absorbent and double it over and again it might be a bit more fiddly to get it underneath but it is worth taking the extra time to get that underneath right so the next step now what we're going to do is we're going to take off this this is a cap that high, keeps the ink lines in place so you need to get yourself a small little screwdriver small little phillips screwdriver 
Again, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, so you can hold that up a little. Um, and I will just take that out. It was just about a few, a few um, little turns. So I've got that, just to keep that nice and safe. And if you can see here, it's actually clipped underneath. So you just pull that out. Second, sometimes you have to use something like a little tile, like a little knife or something. Again, be careful and it just pops off. So it was this little part that was clipped on. Just take that off. And here are your ink lines. So this is the black. And that's the one we're going to do. And obviously it was any other colour. You just got to look through them. When you take those out, it'll tell you the colours. I'm not going to take them out now because we've only got problems with the black. And I don't want to get air in the ink lines. So the black is going to be the one we're going to do. Like a lot of time you'll notice that you might have multiple problems. But we've only got problems with the black. But it's the same method applies. So you just pop that off nice and gently because a little bit of ink will just pop out like literally look there's not even anything so what we do is you leave that out of the way and now I have my my syringe that I filled with two mils of fluid and if you just see here so the same as that popped on I'm gonna put my my um, tube on over those that little things so you see the way it's just slipped on where where that was sitting and what we're gonna do is gonna push it in the fluid nice and easy and when you get to about halfway it's just stop and again this method is on our other video the how to clean clogged or blocked depths and print heads nozzles the easy way it's the number one video on our on on our channel and the number one video on youtube for blocked epson printers so every step is the same from here on in as, as far as going and cleaning it so we just leave it for a little bit now I would advise for the purpose of the video we're not going to wait for 10 minutes um, but we're going to let that go through that's what I advise you to do is let it for 10 minutes just take your time and now you're going to see that's going through nice and easy so this probably won't take much cleaning which is great all right so we're going to pull that off Let's put that out of the way and what we do then is we put back on the ink line again to try and keep everything as clean as possible so that's gone back on and you want to make sure that that is just keep just keep looking at that so you want to make sure that everything is nice and clean so no, it's just my gloves really just got a bit of ink on that so we're gonna put that back in we're gonna just make it nice and clean again there is like a really good reason for all of these um things to be clean you know because for example not just clean we want all these to be still straight so we don't want any overlap we want them to see exactly how they were so it's just you can see look that's a very good example it went up there it doesn't cross over the other one the one that we took off it fits neatly back where it was if you see i can use my screwdriver again just to lift, just to make sure it's just in like that so you will need a little small phillips screwdriver but you'll even find that even a bigger screwdriver will fit the tip of it will go in and just be really gently when the screw goes back in there i'm going to show you how to put that back in next um so gonna grab that so basically like i said we don't the best way to line this up is we know that the screw the screw hole went in there so it's a bit fiddly so you see there you just push that up and over but the main thing to remember is that that screw went back there. And if you see here, that lines up. And the main thing is if the screw hole is lined up, it's, it is on right. So that's on right. So I'm just going to get the screw. Again, you just got to take your time. Just push that on. Make sure everything's on. You hear that little click? That's perfect.
it is a bit fiddly to get it back on but look it's it's worth it to get your printer working as well because before you know epson printers were so cheap but these eco printers like you know they can be hundreds of pounds it's definitely worth looking after them and we have we have had people that literally just did head clean after head clean after head clean and it didn't do any good um and they used the fluid and hey presto it's sorted um so there you go that's just what's come out of it you just see that middle part is very black you can even see a couple of little dots of you see there that's probably hardened ink that's come out so that's absolutely perfect so so just make sure that's clicked back down yeah everything's fine so what you got to remember then is what we're going to do now is we're just going to print normally like uh, for the purpose of the video you know it might take printing out with black maybe 10 or 20 times to get the black to run back through it might work first time it could even work after a couple of times you know but you know the best thing i would recommend is definitely minimum print something you know nice big and bold in the colors that you want so you can do like test sheets in any color but for example black we're going to print all black to start with and make sure that all the ink pushes through the cleaning fluid and it's going to be pushed onto the printer so it's onto the paper that we're using to print so again don't forget obviously you've taken out your your power cable and i'm sure that that will work perfectly for you like it has done for many other people thank you